okay in this session i'm going to show you the basic fresher or one year in uh, experience guys interview questions guys okay what are all the mandatory background processes okay if you get this question you can answer straight away we have five types of mandatory background processes s man p man db writer log writer checkpoint okay if they will ask you to explain p man will take care of user level sessions if any user session is inactive p man will clear the inactive session and s man will take care of system level monitor uh, and uh, if any abrupt uh, shutdowns or if any network issues or data center corrupted the database is shut it down uninterruptedly or suddenly in that scenario s man will invoke and then it will clear the committed and uncommitted transactions if any committed transactions is happen that will forward roll forward and if an un uncommitted transactions is found it will do roll backward mainly s man will do icr instance crash recovery uh, solution and the next one is db writer whatever the transactions are happen committed transactions in your database it will write to your data files and log writer will write all the current transactions which are generated in your redo log file or redo log buffer it will write to your redo log groups or redo log files checkpointer will invoke as and when any committed transactions occurred in your uh, redo log files or redo log buffer cache or in uh, pinet like database buffer cache that will invoke the db writer to write those committed transactions into your data files as well as the changed SCN number, system change number into your control files. And the second question, what are all the mandatory table spaces in your database? Mandatory table spaces are five. At the time of database creation, we will get five mandatory table spaces. One is users table space, system table space, sysops table space, undo and temp. These are all the mandatory table spaces. And the next question, uh, if you kill the smon, what will happen? If you kill any one of the mandatory background process, what will happen? Straight away, you can say answer is the database is shut it down. And next one, what is the latest database version? Okay, it's a technically you can say uh, twenty three database version is twenty three c twenty three c is our database version but it is for developer purpose. It is not for the uh, production purpose. 19C is the long-term database version, which will support up to 2032 or 2030. Till that time we are having that one. And what is your environment? What is your work environment? Freshness, it is it, it is not uh, relevant, but one year, even though if you are putting one year experience or you are having one year experience, they will ask you to your work environment. My work environment is we have one production with one terabyte size and that production is having DR setup. And also we are having four non-production environments. The da database version is 19C and uh, we are using linux operating system 7 7.9 7 linux operating system that is your working environment okay next one is do we have knowledge on backups you can say yes i have a knowledge on backups what kind of backups you are using we are using answer is we are using rman backups cold backups export and import backups generally we are using any one of the backup utility to take a backups on our environment but 90 percent of the people are using rman only some of them using mix of all the backups export imports they will use rman backup they will use okay rman is the utility to take the backups on your database when the database is up and running export and import also we can take the backups when the database is up and running but in case of cold backup you have to shut down your database and you have to take the backups even a hard backup also you can take the backups when the database is up and running but we need to put the database in begin backup mode if it is a hard backup process that is the backup scenario how we can id mean uh, identify the backups are exist in your database or not okay in that question answer you can say is uh, we can connect to rman space target forward slash to connect your rman we can use that and then we can check list backup summary 
list space backup space summary semicolon this command will show you backups are completed what are all the backups we took that will show you the summary okay and do we have an idea on uh, data guard what is the use of data guard okay for that you can answer data guard is for disaster recovery purpose if my primary database is not available my primary database is corrupted my primary database data center is collapsed or some other issues happen immediately i need similar kind of database in other location for that setup we call it as data guard setup another database we call it as a standby okay we need to configure our primary database and the standby database we need to make it archives are shipping from primary to standby every second we talk each and every transaction should be whatever the transactions happen on your primary that should move to your standby database okay suppose it is my primary and it is my standby both database version should be same both operating system should be same db versions same os versions same and we need to put the synchronization it's a standby it's a primary primary is live whatever the transactions is coming to here it should sync with this if anything goes wrong this production is down or primary instance is down this will this will act as a primary this will act as a production this concept is called data guard concept data guard okay another one do we have knowledge on asm okay you can say yes i have a knowledge on asm asm is automatic storage management automatic storage management if you are using cluster software and also if you are using rack and environment ras real application cluster at that time what we are doing single database db is single db means you know right database is this this is database this is an instance single database we are going to configure database on one node and the two nodes are having instances database instances this is n1 node 1 and this is node 2 so what database is sitting on this node 1 if this instance is trying to access this database and this instance also trying to access this database what will happen if this instance is failed users can able to access the database using this instance this is called high availability high availability okay in that scenario the storage asm is storage uh, file system right storage management file system this asm instance will store this storage whatever the data we are having that is we are storing on asm file system so asm file system is shared file system shared storage file system shared storage file system if you are using multiple nodes also same storage we can access from here we can access from here and we can access from this node also if you are using 10 nodes also we can access the shared storage one database 10 instances one database 10 instances each instance are configured on different different servers but database is only one instance one time one place we configure this place we have shared with all the instances all the servers okay that is the asm file system okay if you want to add a data data into we stored data in asm is disk groups in the form of disk groups each disk group we are going to add disks individual disk disk is a small part of your disk group we are going to add this disk to disk group the storage only disk means storage only disk group also holding the multiple disks and also it holds all your data files control files parameter files everything which will store in your disk groups okay this is the asm one how we are going to add a, a disk to disk group how we are going to add a disk to disk group you can use ultra command or else you can use asm asm ca command asm ca command also we can use how we are going to use even if we don't have asm here i'm just showing okay if it is a grid grid is there then only we can use this asm ca command uh, we have a rack and environment there we can able to use this asmca that is one thing and some interviewers will ask you what kind of file system you are using we are using local file system local file system for our database if you are using asm you can say asm file system for storage 
in in our lab we are using local file system local file system means we are storing everything in our mount points c cd u01 is our mount point where we are going to install our database and our database storage also we are install uh, storing on our local file. this is called local file system but in case of asm uh, it will start with asm asm symbol is this plus symbol will be there it will in mean it will say that it is a different like asm instance okay that is okay and if they will ask you do you have an experience on installation you can say yes i have i have done the 19c installation i have done the 12c installation on linux machine linux oel 7.9 oel means oracle enterprise linux 7.9 i have installed oracle 19c database if they will ask you to explain the installation steps, you can explain the scenario according to that. Okay. Backups is completed and okay. Next one is important. They will ask you basic questions on user management. How you are going to create a user in database? You can say straight away, create user, create user, username, identified by password. Password. This is the password. Is identified is a keyword. How Create user is the command. Create user. It's a command. And then you can give the username is demo. Is a username. And for this username, we want to put the password is identified by. And then password. In this way, if you simply, how we are going to grant this uh, user privileges, grant, select comma, insert comma, delete, on object name emp dot username in this way also we can give otherwise grant connect comma resource is the minimum privilege to any user account any users grant connect comma resource i'll type it here it is better grant connect comma resource username so if this user, if you are providing the grant means this user can able to connect to your database session. And then they cannot do anything that we haven't granted any select privilege, update privilege, any other privileges. They just connected to the database. That's it. They cannot do anything. For that, if they want to do, we have to give select privilege also. If they want to give DBA admin privilege, you can give DBA, grant a DBA to username. This is the way. And how we can find the database files where is your data files are exist how you can find out by using sql plus as is dba select star from dba underscore data underscore files these are my data files okay my data files are present in this location these are all my data files okay how you can find where is your read log file select a start from v dollar log file these are my redo log files okay as part of this architecture these are my data files db underscore data underscore files view by using that we can able to see this and these are my redo log files by using v dollar log file okay v dollar log file i can able to see my redo log files how you can find your control files? Control files. Files. V dollar control file. Okay, let's start from um, control file. Okay. These are my control file location. Okay. In your database, we, we, we have we have seen all our data files, control files, and online redo log files. Online redo logs files for storing the current transactions. As and when instance recovery is required, we can use these things. Control files are the crucial files in your database. 
it will hold all the current transactions, committed transaction, SCN numbers, where is your data files are located, where is your redo log files are located, what is your database name, when the database is created, all this crucial information stored in your control file. If control file is lost, we cannot able to start your database. We cannot able to st start your database itself, mount, we cannot mount the database. So control files are crucial. Data files are storing original data. Whatever the original data in your database, the original data will store in your data files. Redo log files, as I said, right? All the log current transactions, if these redo log files are not there, we cannot able to restore it, but we cannot, we can start our database, but it will require the recovery scenario. Okay, we can mount the database, but we cannot open it. We have to restore it. Whatever the data file or control file redo log files are missed, we cannot open the database. We have to restore those and then we can do open the database. Restore and recovery should be performed. Archive logs are backups of your online redo log files. That is one question they will ask. How to add a data file to uh, your table space? Alter database, add data file. Data file uh, number you can be able to mention. Let me give that query. Alter database. Alter table space. Okay. So, if you want to add a, a data file to table space, you can use this command alter table space, table space name for which table space you are going to add a data file. Add data file, data file name you can mention. If we are having how many data files on system, according to that number of data files you can see, as of now we are having to uh, one num uh, number system data files. You can give one more number two you can give next time if you want to add number three you can give next time if you want to add you can give system zero three don't give the same number you have to increase the number first we have to check what number we are having how many numbers of data files we are having change the number to new and then give it that's it if you want to modify if you want to modify or rename or resize you can use alter database command okay Alter database command, we can rename uh, or resize the data files. That is fine, guys. These questions are more than enough for uh, basic L1 uh, DBA jobs.